The next step in the water garden installation process is putting in the liner, but even before that, you have another layer beneath the liner. Tell me about this, Mike. We call this the underlayment. It's a non-woven geotextile that we put down to protect the liner from anything that might still be in the ground. A small pebble, a stick, a rock of any kind, if you and I step on it while we're carrying one of these boulders, we're going to put a lot of pressure against that liner, against that small piece, and it could puncture it. And then we're going to have to take the rock out, drain the water, find that leak somewhere. So we always want to use an underlayment under that. Okay. And you notice that it conforms to the shape of the pond yes. all the way around, but it's not seamed together. It's just overlapped. There's two pieces That's right. overlapping. It comes in various sizes, okay. but you don't have to worry about putting it together. You just overlay it. And we're just going to have this secured with rocks until the, the plastic liner is Yes, you in. notice the wind came up just yeah. as we started to lay it, so we put some rocks down to hold it in place. Okay. Yeah. Mike, the crews come in and laid our liner on top of the underlay. Um, tell me first, what is the material of the liner? It's an EPDM rubber, 45 mils thick. So that's pretty thick. It's yeah. about like a, a truck inner tube, mm -hmm. if you think about it. It's real heavy. Not, uh, not going to puncture very easily. No. And as they were laying it, I noticed them stepping it into the shelves, um, but not getting all the wrinkles out. They did mm -hmm. kind of a liner dance where they came around and they scuffed that to make sure that it fit mm -hmm. back against the walls of the shelves that they had built in here. And you'll notice it fills everything. They don't want there to be any stress on the liner when they come to place a rock against it. Mm -hmm. So they've left wrinkles. It doesn't hurt a thing. That's all going to be covered up with the rock because they put it in here. So while we might have a tendency to try and smooth it out, yeah. and take care of the wrinkles and do all that, you don't have to do that. It's going to all be taken care of by the weight of the rock and the water that's on top of it. Okay, and then how does the liner integrate with the components we have for our filtration? We're, we're going to actually cut the liner and attach it. There are attachment points on various types of liner that will allow us to put it on there, use a silicone to keep it from leaking and then bolt it together so it actually compresses against the side of the plastic and keeps there from being any leaks at that particular point. We also can seam the liner mm -hmm. and put it together as we we're going to do here. Yeah, here we you have notice a joint. That we have mm -hmm. one piece that's the basic pond and another piece that's the waterfall and the stream that's going to be coming down here. And we actually have two pieces of liner that will actually be seamed together. And there's a method that, that Firestone recommends that you put their liner together with, and they'll do that. Professionals usually do that. Mm -hmm. We have liner that comes in. 50 by 100 foot. So if your backyard pond is going to require more than that, hire a professional to put it together. Right. The one last thing I noticed um, on where we have pipes coming in, they've actually cut a hole to pass the pipe through the liner, especially on we our diffuser. They call that a bulkhead fitting. Okay. So there's a piece that fits on the inside and a piece that fits on the outside. They screw together. They're threaded inside so we can put a piece of pipe into that and adjust it just like a plumbing fitting in your house so there won't be any leaks that come from the pipe into the pond. All right. One last thing that I know from our earlier discussion, there's a berm along the edge and that's going to be an important part of uh, Absolutely. Installing. When we're done with the, the mm -hmm. lining the pond and putting rocks in, so we know that there's no more liner needed down here, all of this is going to be excess mm -hmm. that's up on the edge. They're going to overlay the berm a little hill that we created all the way along the inside and that's to keep water from running out and to keep groundwater from running in mm -hmm. and then they're going to bury the tip of that liner all along that edge so that nothing can get underneath it there nothing gets over it here we've self-contained this pond all in one enclosed liner all right well thank you